Welcome back to the 58th episode of a close combat Wacht am Rhein playthrough with the Germans in the Grand Campaign on Elite Difficulty. Now, I stated in the previous episode, I believe, that I changed some uh, Eni file. Um, Eini? Eini file? I, I don't know. I just say Eni, but that might be a Norwegian way to go about it. Uh, I changed so that the defeated battle groups will stop fucking respawning all the goddamn time so we don't drag this playthrough on forever with literally no change to the battles in it. Unfortunately, since we're already in the middle of the campaign, it seems that that has not worked and we have the enemy respawning again. Seemingly I've been punished and they are now respawning back with better fucking tanks. Great. Either way, it is the uh, first turn of day six, so we are going to make some moves around the map. We're going to move in here, probably run into the Hundred and First. Should be fine though. Uh, we have most of the edge tiles kind of secured. Not every single one, but we're kind of getting there. Going to move these guys into La Roche over here. And yeah, 900 second up there, 900 first, yeah. I mean... You see, what well, I, I said this previously, I believe, like every goddamn single day at turn one of a day, there will be nine new battle groups appearing at the edge of the map, which isn't new battle groups, it's battle groups that we've already defeated. So if we can't defeat everything by turn two, we're going to have to just rinse and repeat and do it all again. So I'm going to hope that by turn two of day six, we have defeated all enemies. If not, I am going to have a meltdown. And uh, I would rather not have a meltdown if I could avoid it. Um, I think maybe not these guys in here. No, it could be better with these, to be honest. And we're going to send in these these guys here to reinforce behind us, should anything push out from this area. And uh, yeah, if anything is there, and it's moving anywhere, it can't get anywhere without being in combat. And if it doesn't move anywhere, well, then we are attacking it. So, let's see. We have uh, these dudes here. Um, I suppose we could move them in here. The enemy doesn't really have that much left here now. Let's see, I think we could be... Ah, uh, well, what do they have? They have a couple of Greyhounds, three Greyhounds. That's not so bad, actually. Let's give a mortal team to these guys. We'll finish this off here with the infantry we have in place. Um, right, well... Most people are currently just kind of waiting to be able to go somewhere, I guess. Um, move these guys over here to the place Kulman if needed. And that's about it. We'll give a mortar to these guys. And is there any other just infantry squads we have fighting? Not really. However, let's give a mortar to these guys because they've lost all their armor except for a Jagdpanzer. Bayer doesn't need any support. Kochenhausen doesn't need it. Von Baum should be fine. Uh, 101st Airborne. I really hate those guys. Let's uh, let's give uh, some mortars to fight them. Either way, execute. And there was an armor division in here. They have now moved to Nadrin. Which is fine, because we're defending. And it's going to be easier to defend against an armor division than to actually attack a armor division. Uh, we already knew they were there, I guess I just forgot about it. It's been a few days since I actually was in-game and saw them there. So I'm hoping we can defeat these guys with Piper now. And then just push in and take this. Or alternatively defeat these two guys here and rotate Hansen over there. And this Folkstone unit there. And then just have more reinforcements pour in from behind. But there's going to be a lot of freaking battles, this. Okay, it looks like we're defending here again in Sabre as the 101st. Oh god, I am so sick of defending this specific entry point on this map. You have no idea. Uh, we need to defeat them turn one so we can push in and secure this. Either way, next, where's the first battle going to be? In Sabre, yes! The one I want to fight down the least, great. Thank you. Now, what's the enemy got? Some anti-tank stuff, this and that. I mean, we've drained away some of the reserves, I guess. But 
Uh, they don't need bazooka teams. Let's see. LNG bow bow. Let's get an LNG. LNG. Uh, they don't have toady cows. Uh, we'll give them something more like this. Uh, let's give them off the team as well. Why not? If I could click the collect damn thing. Uh, 88. We are not going to be using that. Uh, let's see. Can we reinforce our guys, sir? Do we have any? You know what? I haven't reinforced anything throughout the entire campaign. And uh, I'm not reinforcing the enemy because they fucking respawn when they're dead. So that's more valuable than reinforcing, I would say. So I'm just going to reinforce these guys because why the fuck not? We'll just do it this one time. That gives us literally no more benefits. Whatever. Um... Let me get this infantry gun in. Let's see. We have some NG teams. We have some heavy machine gun teams. We can actually get in more heavy machine gun teams. Let's replace these teams with more heavy machine gun teams. Alright, so we got these two heavy machine gun teams that we can use, I guess. So, lucky us. And with that, let's get to it. The Americans attack, and we are going to counter attack and absolutely destroy them and make sure they don't have a good time. Cannot put the infantry gun in there, nor can we put it in there. Oh, hell, what the fuck's the point of this thing, then? God damn it. Hmm. Okay, well, where could we put this? In gun position, maybe over here. Instead of fighting 101st, I guess we just have to expect them to have artillery strikes. They're going to be coming in and making life horrendous for us, so we need to spread our units out a little bit. So that we don't lose too many people to the artillery strike, uh, so that we cannot actually counterattack them. Uh, I've been there, I've done that, and I would rather not be in that position again. Alright, so that's the heavy machine gun team we're going to put in the three story building here. Then we are, well, what kind of reach are we talking from here? Marginal. Would it be better over here, though? Nah, not really. Alright, we're gonna put them in here, then. Put them on the fend in the forest. Force all these damn crates, as I kind of make an effort a bit harder to do, but there we go. So we have good NG crossfire going on. We put another NG team in the forest also. Uh, just a regular Falschenjäger NG team. I don't want them too spread out, because if they're too spread out, taking position as they're doing right now, they're going to start calling to get closer and leave the damn cover they have, which is absolutely not good. Uh, but either way, let's get maybe a second NG team in here. Then, let's see, NG team here. In the trench, please. In the trench. In the one trench, because I know if you don't all go in the one trench, you're gonna start calling and getting fucking killed for no reason. We'll dig a new trench. I'll put them here. No, that hasn't really worked out that well for us in the past. Ah, well, it might. Who knows? They don't want to take position in the trench, so. Fucking wait. Come on. Oh my lord, the clipping in this game. This trench. Yeah, but that's even fucking worse though. Fuck me. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let's just be happy with that, I guess. Got a silk top in here. Uh, Fashion Yago here. I need to uh, set up quite a few teams to kind of come in from. Uh, in this general area, because I want to push through this forest to counter-attack later. Hopefully they dig a trench for themselves. Let's see if we can get... Maybe a sick trip here. Oh, they're in the trench. Wow. Magnificent. Let's see, we have another NG team here that I will drag into this trench. And we're just going to have to be patient and start killing the enemy in this one. Pretty much. Uh, put our team here as well so we don't uh, 
strike through with everything here. They tried to do that last time. They didn't succeed, but now they should have an even harder time succeeding. Do these guys have a trench they're hiding in? Yes, they have a trench. It's really hard to see. Man, am I glad I brought in this fucking infantry gun. That's working out great so far. It's working out great in the way that it's making the enemy use of more for ammunition at least, I guess. Well, either way, we just uh, let the enemies do the thing. Shoot them when they do it. That's the plan. It's very boring. And I'm very tired of fighting on this map because it is never any fun, really. So. Woohoo. We've seen this exact situation several times already, and I'm just fucking tired of it. I really am. So thank you, Matrix Games, for uh, prolonging the campaign in stupid ways like this. Thank you very much. Yeah, we got more for support. Let's just throw that over here. It seems to be kind of in a bit over here. With some past experience, so... Figure that could be a good way to do it. Now the problem with the 101st is that they seem to have some sort of extra bonuses to survivability or something, because they're just harder to kill than literally any other fucking thing that we fight, for unknown reasons. some damage. It's just a matter of patience, really. That's all it's about. From past experiences, I don't want to push in here too soon. I want to just kill as much as I can before I make a move. And the only thing that's gonna happen is I'm gonna keep my guys in position to do exactly that. That might not sound very fun for you to watch. How do you think it feels for me to play? Just say. The infantry, well, there comes the artillery strike that I was expecting because the fight in the 101st may always seem to have fucking artillery. Oh, it's not artillery, it's, more, oh, it's artillery and mortar strikes or barrage. Nice! Just uh, double the pain, basically. Beautiful. Keep detonating my man. Love that. Oh, there goes the heavy machine gun team, most of this MG team, most of the command team. And it could be worse, to be honest. Luckily we spread our guys out a little bit. But after that, the pillar strike, it seems like the enemy has started trying to make a move overhead. Which they are paying for quite a bit. Now, one problem we ran into her previously, uh, kind of doing this, what we're doing here right now, is that as we were ready to move in, we also happened to be out of ammo and a lot of our small arms. Which is not ideal. We really need to win this time, so we can push to the edge of the map and fight the enemy on the edge of the map next turn, so that, well, if it even comes to day 7, really. 
Uh, I'm hoping to defeat everything within the next turn. Uh, so we don't come to day 7 and everything fucking respawns again. Because I'm just so, so tired of fighting the same shit that I've already been defeating. Over and over and over again. It's no fun. So if you're a game developer, pro tip. Don't fucking do that to anyone playing your game. No one enjoys that. Honestly, it is not a good solution. It is a cheap and cheesy way to make your game drag on. A fun gaming experience you would like to last longer. And this could be a fun gaming experience. But Matrix Games decided to let you fight the same fucking battles over and over and over again. Even when you win them over and over and over again. And that's not a fun game experience. You would like some variety, not just a repeat of the same shit over and over again. Seriously, Matrix Games, what the fuck were you thinking? Either way, so... I'm gonna go prepare a meal. While the slaughter continues, sir. I'll be back in a few minutes. And, uh... Yeah. I'll leave this playing, I guess. Or edit it, if it does make sense to do so. Because, really, all I'm doing right now is just waiting for enough enemies to be dead that I can make a counter-attack move. And that time has not yet come, so... See you soon.
Okay, so I peeled some potatoes. I come back and this is the situation. Oh, just in time actually because these guys are losing patience. Well, I guess that's a sign. Let's move in. Uh, we'll move the heavy machine gun team in there. The enemy morale is really fucking low, so they can't have much left. We're just going to push in with everything we have, secure the victory location, and call it a day. Because, uh, well, this has not been super enjoyable in the past. These guys look like they want to move in as well, but they're going to be supporting from a distance. Let's move in these guys. I, mean, I don't know what the hell the situation has been. Huh? I haven't watched it, but we have killed a lot of stuff, so that's good. Let's move this heavy machine gun team in here as well, into this building or something. And uh, yeah, let's just finish this. If these guys are not taking fire over here, then the enemy can not have a lot left. So that's, that's the uh, problem I had last time I was there. I moved in too soon. I could have just had patience like this, gone and done something else, peel some fucking potatoes and prepare dinner, and uh, yeah. Just wait for a better time to strike. Okay, well. Okay, well, you're moving in on the road like idiots, so what the fuck do you expect? Same with these guys, so. Either way. These other guys will line up here and life will be good. I mean, you gotta fucking waypoint them like babies, like this. Tell them specifically exactly where to go from fucking meter to meter with coordinates or some shit. This is a much better approach. Take this approach. You bloody fucking idiots. Uh, we'll move in these guys as well. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but they don't seem very useful about that. We can move this guy over here with the MG. Hey, a rifle grenade hit this guy. Very good. So I'm just going to wait for this infantry to gather up here and I'm just going to rush the victory location. I don't really care anything beyond that. As long as we can do that, then we're going to win. So it's all good. Get the command team in here. Get these guys in here as well. Please don't go to the road now. Are they going to go to the road? Looks like they're thinking about it. They're going to go to the road. They can just go here, but no, no, they're going to go to the road. Yeah, good shit. Well done. Okay, platoon leader down, good shit, we have our teams in position here, we're gonna move all those except for the heavy machine gun team in, we're just gonna let them set up the heavy machine gun so they can start shooting this general area. The enemy wants a truce, and can as per usual, forget about it. So, we have all these teams here, ready to go, full strength, let's just push in. Don't really care that much if we take a few casualties out, as long as we just wipe these fuckers off the face of the earth and win and can take the uh, edge position of the map. And I can't even take the direct route to this fucking location. Well done. Good thing we moved this guy up. He's got some good shots on these fuckers, can we get a truce? No, we have to actually defeat them all, or wait two more minutes. That's fine. We can just kick these guys into the fence now, it doesn't really matter. Just hold this position, kill everything we see. And that should be the end of it. This might be the last enemy into the team, actually. So you know what, let's just rush it. Let's just storm those fuckers. They're suppressed by a bunch of shit right now. And... Why are these guys not shooting? Ah, oh, that's a potentially mortal team or something there. Yes, that's a mortal team. Well, we'll go and beat the shit out of them too. I don't care. We can afford the cash piece, I guess. Okay, and now, next on the agenda, fuck those mortal guys. Who surrenders? Mortals better surrender. What are gonna get it? You guys ready to get it? Motherfuckers. Who's saving ammo though? This guy, well, okay, yeah, he's out of MG ammo anyway. Um, so, yep, we are beating the living hell out of them, I'm liking that. Punch the shit out of these cunts. What do they want to lose? We've already accepted it, so. Okay, 
Kill the last guy, come on. Are we gonna have to wait the full two minutes or can we just fucking kill this motherfucker? One guy and he's suppressed, so. There we go, he's dead. And they probably have some oil to sell my run. Yes, they do. That's another 50 cal team there, actually. Well, eh, whatever. Gonna win in five, four, three, two, one, now. Fantastic, we wiped them out. We didn't really take that many casualties, even though suicide charging in the end, because we just fucking slaughtered them in the beginning. Which is the strategy to employ. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, I am sick of fighting in this map, so I'm happy this was the last fucking time that happened. Oh, specifically, I'm sick of every time I fight in this map, it's the allies coming out of fair with the 101st Airborne. Right? If it was, like, different things going on. That would be fun. I, I could fight 10 battles on this map, and I wouldn't mind it at all if the battles just were different. But if it's the same fucking thing every time. For fuck's sake, it's terrible, Matrix Games. This is not how you make a good game. This is how you make me want to stick a fucking thumb up your ass. But either way, actually I don't want to do that, that sounds disgusting. But, um, yeah. Fuck Matrix Games for some of their decisions, is what I'm getting at here. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I would appreciate if you left a like on it. And, as always, you can catch me in the next one. And thank you for watching. Have a good one.